Get rich fast with csgofast.com. Uh, day two at the League Major has started, and uh, most sports have kicked off the second round of the Swiss format with a win uh, against Hellraisers. But now, yeah, let's start there before we get to Navi, uh, as long as it's, uh, it's in your head. Um, fairly comfortable affair on, on cash, and you especially had a, had, a, had a very good performance there, uh, a couple of very impactful rounds. Uh, yeah, how much do you expect from Hellraisers? Obviously, you have quite the history against them. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I'd say we expected maybe a bit more from them, even though um, the map Fito went very well for us this time, I would say. I mean, Cash, everybody knows, is one of our favorite maps, together with Dust2 and Mirage, I would say. So we kind of we felt really confident when we saw the Fito. We, before, we were also confident. We played them recently in the Las Vegas qualifier as well. And uh, even though it was online, we defeated them easily there. I think we all felt we could do that again, so we were happy with the draw. And then cash on top just uh, made us feel like, okay, we're gonna take the win quite easily. And I think we showed that we did that. Let's go back to yesterday. Obviously, a very, very disappointing performance against Navi. Only three rounds. Um, what happened there? What do you, where do you think uh, were the mistakes? Um, I don't know. It's like we got behind 5-0, and I felt some of those rounds at the start could have gone either way. Uh, I mean, it was not only luck, but we just didn't play as good as we could. And as soon as we're behind 5-0, and then it goes to 6-7-0, and, and it's Cobble, it's in our head like, okay, Cobble, we're going to lose again. And we, <laughs> we, we tried to get better at the map, and we felt we got a lot better, but we just didn't show how good we can play it, and everything just fell apart again. Uh, I don't know. We are just, I guess, not mentally strong enough yet to, if we get like uh, behind against a team like Navi and also an on the map Cobble, which is just, we're, we're not confident there. We, did, we didn't get big wins there yet. I mean, in the Las Vegas qualifier, we won Cobble twice now, so we felt, okay, maybe we can actually play the map. But now, when it really mattered, we, we didn't show up. So, I don't know. I think we can play the map really good, but uh, mentally, we still need to fix some stuff. And yeah, I mean, it's no shame to lose against Navi, but 16 3 was a slap in the face. Right. Now, talking about the preparation, I wanted to get um, each team's kind of uh, how long they played uh, for how many hours a day. So give me like a ballpark. How much did you play? Do you have a boot camp? Yeah, we had a boot camp in Cologne as well, the same place where SK was also boot camping. Uh, I don't know, I would say we also spent like 10 to 12 hours per day, not only playing, but talking about stuff together in the office and uh, just preparing. So, yeah. How did it go overall? I know SK told me that they had quite a lot of problems against you, and I think FaZe also mentioned that, uh, that, that you played well against them. Were you, were you satisfied with, uh, with the preparation that you had? Yeah, I think we were really satisfied. I mean, in prac, everything went really well. Like I said, also maps like uh, Cobalt that usually are not, li- it's not like our favorite map, and people know that we played really well in practice. I think uh, there were just a few teams that beat us and we I mean winning in practice doesn't mean so much but the things the new things we tried it worked good so we were confident about our map pool this tournament and we still are to be honest. Um, is there was there anything uh, specific that you focused on during practice anything that you that you maybe noticed in the past tournaments that you that you had to fix? Uh, well yeah one thing is that when we get behind we, we just get in trouble in our own heads right. this is not so easy to fix in practice so I don't know, I think we just have to play big tournaments more often with this team and it will work out. Other than that, we try to play the maps which we are not so good at uh, more often, like Train Overpass and Cobble. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I mean, it hasn't really shown yet, we played Cash now and won Cash, I mean, that's nothing new for us, I guess. But uh, I think we can show later in this tournament, maybe tomorrow, that we can play the other maps well as well. Let's talk about the other teams as well. Um, obviously, with the month-long break, basically that we that we had from LAN events, so we're not quite sure what form uh, the teams have. So, based on practice from whatever or, or whatever else, who do you think are going to be like the best teams here? Maybe like some underdogs that could surprise. Uh, if Tricked was here, they would probably win. <laughs> and uh, Navi and Astralis, I think. What about it? any underdogs? You think? Uh, any underdogs? I'm. I don't know against who did we play that were really the underdogs, I don't know. We didn't prac against the underdogs from this team, mm-hmm. uh, from this tournament so much, right. so I can't say that. Okay then, thank you very much. Uh, any last words, shout outs or anything that you want to say? Uh, shout out to the fans, to my teammates, my family, everybody that supports us. All right then, thank you again. That was our first interview after the first match of day two at the E-League Major. Stay tuned to hltv.org because we're going to come back with a few more interviews as, uh, as the day progresses.